Well, we're still here at Swords and Elements with Robert Marshall, and they've got another trick up their sleeve they've been working on they want to show us today. So, Robert, what is the magic of this little black box? What do we got going on over here? So now we are providing ISDN over the internet, but it's not a bridge. We are basically providing, we're, we're extending ISDN lines over to your location over internet connections. Um, actually, preferably two internet connections. That way we can make it really robust and keep the latency down. So the way we do it is we have a box that basically converts your ISDN codec from 1985 to an IP codec in a sense. It's an adapter. It's an adapter, <laughs> sure. It's, it's, it's part of the service. And so you plug your ISDN box into this box, you plug one or ideally two internet connections into this box. So you'd have a cable modem and a DSL. Man. That, that'd be great, exactly. Yep. And then you have ISDN lines. So you can make calls and receive calls. And so the big difference here is that the audio is encoded on this box. It goes to the internet to our data center. From our data center, it goes straight onto the phone system. And from there, it goes to the other ISDN box and it's decoded. There is no bridging in between. It's a direct connection that's translated or converted. The way it works, you know, we can make a call here just like any other, you know, dial. You get that familiar click and then dial. And there's our second call. And there's our locks right there. The, the, the lines we just called actually are a, uh, a loop at our location that we just use for testing. Check one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. And we have our loop. What are you triggering for a talkback? This is another plugin we have for Source Connect, more for the studio side of it. So it's a plugin that sits in Pro Tools and triggers the talkback mic to be open and closed. And the newest version lets you assign any key to it including we have an iPhone app. It doesn't have our logo on it yet, but so you can give this to clients and it's like wireless remote talk back in the, in the control room. Sweet, that's a great idea. Yeah. And that's pretty much like, you know, that, that's an ISDN call. If we drop those lines. As with any Zephyr, they, they make amazingly great phone patches. So for instance, I could call into it actually. If I one, three, one, and place that call with my cell phone, there it goes. And there I am. And there I am. So that's a phone patch through an ISDN through an box. ISDN box. I mean, as simple as that. And then, so, so the whole thing is configured through the ISDN box. So for instance, um, you know, there's IP addresses to change and things like that. And those are all done through the keypad of your ISDN box. So I'll show you here, for instance, when you want to shut this down, shut it down nicely, you just dial uh, zero, zero, star zero, dial, and we'll see this guy turn off in a moment here. There you go. Oh, weird. That's pretty bizarre. The whole thing is configured through the ISDN box. So like, you know, when you get it and you have to set your IP addresses, if it's not DHCP, you'll just do some 192, 168. So, da, 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 da. so this thing could be just completely hidden away in your closet where the router is you or go something. Over the router and everything, yep. And you can just That's fantastic. So when is it going to be available and how? Oh, it's real. It's real. So we're so taking on customers in groups of 10. Or right, right now, I think we have like six slots left. And... Um, and then we'll group up another 10 and send them off like, like, a, like a ferry boat going out. Because um, there's a lot of provisioning we have to do on our side. Um, and that's why we're doing it. So we're taking probably like six more for now. And then in a month, we'll be able to group up another 10, send them off. And, and then as, as we, we scale up that way, it will be the best way. Congratulations. Well, I mean, if, you're, if your eyes are glazing over your head, basically what happened here is now anybody with a good internet connection can actually have a real ISDN box and not pay AT&T their black market, not black market, but overpriced. Their, their overpriced insane fees for ISDN. You totally leapfrog it, and anybody can get ISDN now at a reasonable price. And you can take it with you. And you can take it with you. This whole setup to a hotel. <laughs> as long as the internet's good, and you're directly ISDNing from your hotel. There you go. Well, congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. George Winter from NAB. Time for lunch.